Hey Aquarius, welcome to your love reading for mid-May 2023. I hope you're doing well. Based on the pre-shuffle, it looks like you could be involved with someone that you've met through work. Now, it doesn't have to mean that you actually work at the same place. You could have met this person at their place of work. They could have met you at your place of work or you met on your way to work or through a work contact. So you need to think outside the box here, but it definitely looks like for many of you, you met at the same workplace. So mutual place of work. We have office affair. Um, you know what? I feel like it was quite unexpected. We have unforeseen love. So um, I feel like this could have blossomed and you never thought you would be attracted to this person as much as you are. Um, you had to tread carefully because we have unspoken love. Obviously, when you meet people at work or if you're dating a boss, or um, it can be very, a very delicate situation. Um, so you probably weren't able to be open and public about a, a connection blossoming between the two of you. Um, it could have been that the two of you had to team up and do a joint project together at work and that's how you got talking. Um, we have opposites attract. I really feel like this person could be very different from your usual type. Okay. Um, but you complement each other. Um, with this pregnancy card, it just tells me that it's like a newish connection. So it's still in the developmental phase and, um, you know, even this card says you may, you may be working on a new project together. So that's what I'm picking up on. I feel like some of you may have admired this person from afar, but never thought that there would be an opportunity to um, get to know them on a deeper level because we have wish come true. If that's not the case, um, I feel like this person um, possesses all of the qualities that you've always wanted in a partner. Okay, um, so yeah, they, they represent your wish fulfillment. Uh, so really nice. Let's have a look at your person, their true feelings and intentions towards you. Angels and spirit, please show me Aquarius's person of interest. Show me Aquarius's person of interest. Show me their true feelings and intentions towards Aquarius, please. Show me their true feelings and intentions towards Aquarius, please, Spirit. Nine of Wands. Okay, yeah. So I feel like this person was a little bit hesitant. Show me more about this Nine of Wands, please. It'd be hard to open up. Show me more about this person's true feelings and intentions towards Aquarius. Maybe because of a, a relationship that you had at work, maybe they could be your boss or you could be their boss. So this person was slow to flirt or open up with you. We have the Six of Swords in the reverse. Maybe when the two of you started getting to know each other, this person could have been a little bit stuck. Maybe they were still in a relationship or they were going through a period of transition, um, but they felt stuck. We have the Empress. Now, um, pregnancy again is coming up. Remember we had the pregnancy card in the Oracle deck and I, I associate the Empress with pregnancy. Um, clarify the, the Empress, please, Spirit, for this person's true feelings and intentions. I mean, it can talk about this love blossoming, you know, it, it having real potential for growth. I mean, what is this Empress card? So it could be just, you know, they started off as being quite closed off and then all of a sudden things blossomed. Clarify this Empress for how this person truly feels towards Aquarius, please, Spirit. Some of them could have been going through a divorce. We've got the justice in the reverse. We have the world next to Knight of Wands. They could have been wrapping up a cycle. We have the Knight of Wands next to the Nine of Pentacles. 
interesting. With the five of wands in the reverse, I just feel like there was mental conflict. And there were potential um, interferences that you needed to avoid. With the sun in the reverse, I feel like you had to kind of get to know each other under a shroud of dark, uh, like under a shroud of kind of mystery because um, you wanted to keep be people guessing. You didn't want people at work to know for many of you, okay? Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign because we've got the knight of wands and we also have the king of wands here. I feel like they saw you as the nine of pentacles, like the eligible bachelor or bachelorette. Very attractive, very well established, um, in high demand, you know, um, they saw you as, you know, the perfect, um, you know, the wish fulfillment coming through again, okay? I definitely feel like you had to hide this because we have the hermit in the reverse. You had to wear a mask in public and, and pretend that you weren't any more than just colleagues or friends. And then it just developed over time with this Seven of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Swords. Someone definitely felt trapped by circumstances, I feel. Okay, and then we have the Seven of Cups in the reverse. They felt very um, trapped by circumstances, feeling stuck like they had no choice about something. There's a lot of inner turmoil with this tower in the reverse. Um, and one of you, I feel, wasn't able to take a leap of faith before something else came to an end. Um, could be a relationship. With this death card, um, something needed to come to an end before the two of you could have a new beginning with each other. That's what I'm getting with the Fool in the reverse next to the Death card. Maybe one of you needed to kind of move departments. I don't know if you work together and you're waiting for that to happen before, um, before making your connection known. That's kind of what I'm picking up here. This person desires you very much with this Knight of Wands and this King of Wands. Interesting. Let's have a look at your advice. What is Aquarius's advice, please, when it comes to love? Mid May 2023. What is Aquarius's advice when it comes to love, please, Spirit? What is Aquarius' advice when it comes to love? Yeah, I feel like um, the two of you may have been overthinking about the, the potential consequences of this connection and Spirit is saying you don't actually have to have it all figured out in order to move forward together. This person may have lied to you at one point and it was out of fear. It was because they felt out of control in the situation. So you might have been offended by this, by their withholding or distorting of the truth. Um, because it impacted on, you know, your free will, how you could behave, how you, you know, could respond. Um... But you need to not make things even more difficult than they need to be. Spirit is saying accept, accept what you know to, and feel to be right for you without trying to convince others that it, it must be right for them. Interesting. Let's have a look and see what this person wants to say to you. Angels 
this on spirit please show me what does this person want to say to aquarius what does this person want to say to aquarius please This is the person want to say to Aquarius, please, for you. They're saying, let's go against the norm. I want us to be together, even if it means breaking a few social rules. Yes. They're saying they regret something that they did. Um... And they're saying, if you forgive me and allow me to enter your life, there's still hope for us. Just wait a second. Yeah, so I feel like they denied this connection or they could have put on a front or they offended you in some way. Angels and Spirit, please show me. What does this person want to say to Aquarius? Yeah, they gave other people the impression that they weren't really all that into you and I feel like you were really hurt that's kind of what I'm getting angels and spirit please show me they want you to accept their invitation I feel like when the two of you started to become involved they were still working through issues um that's no excuse, but I definitely feel like it was an unexpected connection, right? It was an unforeseen love. You took them by surprise, so in a way, they just weren't prepared. They're going to try to show off and impress you because they want to work things out with you. They know that you're two very different people, but they think with effort you could complement each other. Okay. Well, they're definitely serious about you. Let's see what the next move is. What's the next move towards Aquarius? Please, Spirit. What is the next move towards Aquarius? What is the next move towards Aquarius, please? Wow. Okay, they're putting something to bed, as in like they're ending a cycle for you. They're closing out maybe a relationship. We have the Ten of Swords here. And they're choosing you, the lovers. I feel like they're choosing you. Let's have a look at the Crystal Spirit advice. What is your love message? Show me what is Aquarius's love message, please. got Moldavite. It says, as you transition to a new you, you'll become part of a new group of people for you're having new experiences that differ from those that came before. Old friends will be there for you, but new ones will appear drawn to your vibration, which resonates with theirs. Although you're being initiated into a new experience, you will not be alone. So leave your fears at the door. Your community will find you and you will know that you belong as they embrace you as one of their own. Maybe you had to leave the workplace. Maybe, I'm not sure. Some of you. You will feel the love as you adjust to your new role, confident in your potential. It, sorry, in the potential of those you care about coming along with you. Encourage them to believe that they too can let go of the past and transition into something better. See how I said at the very beginning, your person was going through a period of transition. They were stuck in some way. I definitely feel like they intend to unstick themselves and be with you. So let me know in the comments if this resonated, Aquarius, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.